Welcome back, everyone. Hashim, Alice and, and Lloyd have made it through to the final. £9,000 in the prize fund. And during the break, my team had two sets of questions to choose from. Set A or set B. Which one selected, please? You went for set A. Set A, thank you. The Dark Destroyer getting set B. Three of you in the final. Big advantage that. There it is, coming around the wall. Three steps ahead of the chaser. You've got to make that play. Let's set a target he cannot catch. Are you ready? Yep. I wish you luck, team. Your time starts now. Ultramarine is a shade of what primary colour? Alison. Blue. Correct. One of the presenters of Winter Watch is Michaela Who. Alison. Strachan. Correct. In what decade was the UK voting age reduced to 18? Lloyd. 50s. 60s. What New York prison is known as the Castle on the Hudson? Hashim. Pass. Sing Sing. Which superhero lends his name to the book series Tangled Web? Hashim. Spider-Man. Correct. The Rod Laver Arena is in what Australian city? Hashim. Melbourne. Correct. Yellow bellflower is a dessert variety of what fruit? Louis. Pineapple. Apple. Bill Rogers co-founded what political party in 1981? Louis. SDP. Correct. What type of vehicle is a Dodge Monaco? Hashim. Car. Correct. What African river gives its name to a naval battle of 1798? Louis. Nile. Correct. In what sitcom did Delilah replace Hercules, the horse? Louis. Pass. Step down, son. Treacle toffee is traditionally eaten on what November night? Hashim. On fire. Correct. Roddy Doyle's novel, Paddy Clark, ha ha ha, is set in what city? Louis. Dublin. Correct. A nymph is a type of fly used in what recreational activity? Hashim. Pass. Fishing. Who played the title role in the 70s film Logan's Run? Louis. Pass. Michael York. Chelmsfordians live in what county? Hashim. Chelmsford. Essex. What is the official drink of the Indian state of Assam? Alison. Tea. Correct. The Giga Annum is a unit of what? Lloyd. Uh, pass. Time. What medieval sport features in the film A Knight's Tale? Jousting. Correct. Where would a cyclist wear a casquette? <laughs> Obviously on his head. OK, 14. Um, we'll need a lot of pushbacks. Mm. But 14, strangely enough, has been a winning score before. Let's see if we can do it again. Time to bring back the chaser. Couldn't really get a rhythm going. Still play well, though. OK. Now, remember, if the chaser gets a question wrong and my team get it right, they push him back one step. It's now time for the final chase. <laughs> OK, here we go. Your time starts now. What does the French word merci mean? Thank you. Correct. Corazon is a heart-shaped variety of what salad fruit? Tomato. Correct. Harold Arlen composed the songs for what 1939 Judy Garland film? The Wizard of Oz. Correct. In the NHS, what type of care centre is a UCC? Pass. Stop the clock. Take your time. Here we go. In the NHS, what type of care centre is a UCC? Yeah. An urgent care centre. Is correct. Urgent care centre is correct. Push the chaser back. 12 now required. Here we go. Your time starts again now. What is the only big cat with the tassel at the end of its tail? A lion. Correct. L. Patrick Gray was head of the FBI during what US scandal? The Watergate scandal. Correct. Ramadan is the ninth month in what religion? Islam. Correct. TV's Howard's Way was first broadcast in what decade? The 1970s. Stop the clock, that is wrong. TV Howard's Way was first broadcast in what decade? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, with you guys. Yeah. The 80s. Is correct. Push the chaser back. Now 10 required to catch the team. Here we go, 116 remaining. Your time starts again. Now, Mont Genevre is a ski resort in what mountain range? The Alps. Correct. Uh, Julia Agrippina was the mother of which notorious Roman emperor? Um. Nero. Correct. Which of the five Marx brothers never appeared in their films? Gummo. Correct. What playing card was a nickname for Diana, Princess of Wales? Queen of Hearts. Correct. A passado is a type of thrust in what combat sport? Boxing. 
Stop the clock, that is wrong. A pasado is a type of thrust in what combat sports? Uh, Need an answer, fencing. please. Fencing. Okay. Fencing. Yeah, fencing is correct. Push the chase back. Seven required. Here we go. Your time starts again. Now, rumpless game is a breed of what farm bird? Chicken. Correct. Banana Rama had their first two top ten hits with what band? One boy three. Correct. After Anglesey, what is the Irish Sea's second largest island? Isle of Man. Correct. How many minutes elapsed between noon and 2 p.m.? 120. Correct. Who directed the 1987 film The Untouchables? Brian De Palma. Correct. Acapnea affects what liquid in the body? Blood. Correct. Grima Wormtongue is a character in what fantasy book series? Uh, Harry Potter. Stop the clock. That is wrong. Grima Wormtongue is a character in what fantasy book series? I don't know the Rings. The rings or, um, or Twilight. Um, is it Lord of the Rings, fantasy. is that? Need an answer, please. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. It's correct. Push the chaser back. Here we go. Two now to catch. Your time starts again. Now, the Eiffel Tower stands on the left bank of what river? Ten. Correct. What Japanese company make? No time to get there for you. <laughs> Fantastic. OK, oh. congratulations. That's well played good. indeed. All right. Uh, four attempts to push back, four executed. Well done. Three grand each. Yep. What are you doing with yours, Lloyd? I'm going to put it towards my trip to Japan. Right. Alison? I'm off to the Caribbean. OK, Hashim? I think we're all going on our holidays. <laughs> very, very good indeed. Four pushbacks, it's all that counted. Now then, Chase, what happened there? Yeah, a bit too slow because I thought at sort of 14 I could take my time. I took my time too much, actually. And uh... The Nero question especially. Yeah, and I should have got to Lord of the Rings. It was either Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings, and I went for the wrong one. That's the way it is. And my team goes home with £9,000. Very well played, Hashim, Alison and Lloyd. Take the money. Guess what? You've outrun the chaser. Congratulations. Now, did you know Grima Wormtongue was Lord of the Rings? Or did you think it was Harry Potter? If you think it's Harry Potter, don't bother. If you know it's Lord of the Rings, come and have a go. You're clever enough. We'll see you next time on The Chase. Goodbye. <laughs>